Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, well, you know, the timing is fluid, but we're going to say the next seven days and see what happens, okay? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may or may not be for you, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. But we have somebody here that is very stubborn and aggressive. What else do we have for Aquarius? I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is pretending to be happy. They're not really happy. Stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. So this is the birth of something new. The birth of, you know, it could be a baby or a new business opportunity. But either way, we have the birth. We have a birth of something new. Okay, let's get one more. Well, that's a pile. We don't want a pile. Oh, there we go. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. So you are feeling tied down or frustrated. You're dealing with a stubborn, aggressive person and you're going to be receiving some news of either a birth or a business opportunity. So what do we have for Aquarius? We have a new life here. A new life is beginning. However, there's a new beginning here. You know, when you think about birth, it's like a new baby, a new baby. And I've been talking about this a lot lately. It doesn't have to literally be a person... Okay, it can be a new marriage, it can be a new business, it can be a new dog or cat or pet or animal. It can be something that you're going that you're going to nurture. So you have something new that is coming in, but you also have a stubborn aggressive person here. So could be you. I mean, you could be that stubborn aggressive person, which is and when you're stubborn and aggressive, it can definitely cause you to be tied down and frustrated. Maybe you got to let go of your stubbornness. You are a fixed sign after all. That stubbornness could absolutely positively be you. Ooh, you ready for this? This is an increase in revenue. It's money going up, not money going down, money going up. So increase in money. Ooh, you have an enemy disguised as a friend. Now that could be your stubborn, aggressive person. Does obviously that's probably the case, but um, you do have an enemy disguised as a friend. My guess is, I guess it was an Aries. I could be wrong, but or a Capricorn. I know a Capricorn's a goat, but when I see the horns, you know, I, that's what just came to my mind. Aries or Capricorn. Okay. Oh, I got three. I got to take them. You have been ignoring your gut. There's something that your gut is telling you that you are ignoring and you better start listening to it. If you start listening to your gut, your increase, you will see an increase in money. Listen to your intuition. Nobody else, especially this enemy disguised as a friend. If you want to see an increase, who do you listen to? Me, myself, and I. You. 911. 911. You know what? I, I made this deck. My This was emergency. It was emergency when I, when I made the deck, but obviously it's, it, there's numerology involved. So nines are closure. It's something coming to completion. Um, 11 is uh, instant manifestation, a number of uh, intuition, uh, independence. Pay attention to your thoughts at this time because your thoughts are manifesting. You do have a chapter in your life that is coming to an end. We also could have an emergency here, so keep that in mind. 
we have never going to happen. So there's something that is never, ever, ever going to happen. I think that you know what it is. Okay, I think it has to do with this stubborn, aggressive person. May have to do with commitment. I'm not sure if you're committed to this person. This person won't really commit. You know, I feel like it's an Aries or a Capricorn. It could be wrong. Oh, boy. I just cut the deck. I cut it to the tower in the moon. Okay, so the tower is a major event. Okay, it's a false sense of security. It's a false foundation. Okay, this is a rude awakening. There's somebody that is hiding something. They're not telling the truth. There is light that is going to be shed on a false sense of security. This is like a tornado. <clears throat> it is. It's a tornado rolling in. This is an unclear and difficult path ahead. This is where you know, things crumble and you're forced to see the light. You're forced to see, make a change. So there's going to be a forced change. Somebody's been hiding something. Okay, there's something that is hidden. This is hidden forces and this is forces. There's universal forces here that are changing. So that is changing something in your life. There could be a change in a foundation. You know, in your living circumstances could also have to do with your body. We may have somebody here that has some addictions. They have some health problems that, that need to be addressed. Now, foundation can also be a workplace. There's going to be upheaval. There's going to be chaos. You don't see it coming. It's definitely, definitely, definitely don't see it coming. This is massive change. This is a major life change. Did it come out reversed? I think it probably did. You can't avoid it. I didn't even really look. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid this change. This is extreme. This is a permanent loss. It's a painful change. You never saw it coming. So this, and, and you know, maybe it's not, I mean, it's a shock. It's a surprise. And there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. But everything happens for a reason. So there's going to be a change in one of your foundations. Okay. Something that you have built up is going to come crumbling down. It's something that you felt was stable. It's not. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Capricorn. Aries. You've been ignoring your gut. We have an emergency here. Attention is needed. Somebody needs to, to pay attention. Whew. Four of Wands reverse. This may have something definitely to do with a foundation. A home. It's like instability, insecurity. It's lack of support, lack of a friendship. Uh, things not turning you out the way that you had hoped. This could be like a wedding disaster, any type of disaster with the uh, tower card. This is lack of achievement. There's you could, Some of you may be even dealing with some nasty people in your circle, nasty neighbors. This is the party is over. This can also be unhappy, unhappy commitment, unhappy where you are. This could be uprooting. This could be unable to uh, go someplace. This is like a, or it could be a cancellation of an engagement, you know, uh, cancellation of plans. Somebody may have purchased a house or purchased a home. They wish that they wouldn't have. Maybe it's a money pit. You know, this is like uh, trouble in paradise, you know. Unhappy commitment, not happy, not committed, not wanting a commitment, not wanting to get married, not wanting a commitment. It could be family arguments or family discord, you know. Five of Cups reversed. Devil, like I said, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Ten of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands Five of Swords. Looks like you're in some sort of war zone, battle zone, um, unhappy home. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries. Um, 
overwhelmed, giving up. Somebody's giving up their, uh, it's time to relax, it's time to let go. It's a huge burden, it's a lot of baggage. Beginning to realize that there's another opportunity. This isn't my happiness, this isn't my wish fulfillment, this isn't what I asked for, I, I wanna go. I want to go, I want to go, it's toxic, there's some sort of toxic situation here, um, lust, greed, selfishness, addictions, moving very quickly in a new direction, you're going to be receiving some news, um, I don't know if you're receiving news that somebody is letting something go or they're giving up or they're moving, somebody's moving, there's some sort of betrayal here, lies, deception, uh, pushing somebody away. Uh, somebody has no moral conscience, they don't care who they hurt as long as they win. This is like hitting, it could be hitting, it's getting in a fight, a huge fight with the tower card. All out war, hostile situation. It may have to do with siblings or family members, you know, I don't know if it's a living situation. Um, King of Cups acting on feelings. We also have somebody here that is desiring something more. They want something more, a very highly, high sexual energy, you know, highly sexual, um, wanting something more, doesn't really want commitment. This person is communicating with several people, doesn't care who they hurt, maybe communicating with somebody from their past. They wish that they could go back to the past. That's why they're not really, really committing. Um, we may have somebody here that is reconciling with somebody from the past. Maybe they're doing it from behind the scenes. We did have the uh, moon card, which is hiding something, secrets, lies. Um, letting go, letting go, dropping weight, dropping baggage. I feel like we also have somebody here that really has been grieving. They have been grieving over a loss. They haven't been able to let it go. I wonder if somebody is codependent and if they got involved with you just to fill a void. They may have gotten involved with you just to fill a void or something like that. A lot of communication going back and forth. We have somebody here that, I don't even know, somebody maybe even be cheating. They could be having sex with somebody. Um... You've been ignoring your gut, whatever this is. I think that you're highly intuitive at this time. I feel like you know that something is going on. You know that you are being betrayed in some way, but you're ignoring it. Perhaps it's time for you to break free and make a conscious change. There's a conscious change that is needed with the Ten of Wands reversed. Beginning to realize the truth. There could be a separation here from a toxic situation. You may be focusing on your money. Maybe maybe you're focusing on a job and you're not seeing the truth because you're so busy, you're overwhelmed, you got a lot of things on your plate. You could just be ignoring it. You, and maybe you've buried yourself in your in your job or whatever it is to uh, ignore it. Anyhow, um, King of Cups, that's following the heart, listening to your intuition. I feel like you're also, some of you are definitely dealing with a water sign that is betraying you. This person has no moral conscience and they are, uh, I feel like they're being intimate, whether it's physically intimate or, you know, there's a thing called emotional cheating. They're being intimate, with, but I feel like it's sexual as well because of the devil card. There's some sort of, I feel like there's cheating here. I don't know why. If it's not, if you're single, if you're single, you know, this, and if it's not cheating, it's like, I'm not happy where I'm at. Four of Wands reversed, this is like an unhappy foundation. You know, it's marital or family discord. Beginning to see the truth. Beginning to accept the truth. We definitely have a very toxic, unhealthy situation here. Somebody's engaging a lot, too. They're engaging a lot. It's like they don't even care if they're married or they don't even care if they're in a commitment. They don't.
Ten of Wands. And um, the, the, uh, emotional cheating is communicating with somebody when you're in a commitment, you know, and, and getting to know that person, you know, and having that intimate conversations with them when you should be having it with your partner. That's called emotional cheating. I mean, that is. It's what, the, what happens next. Sex. Somebody, some of you could be having sex without love. You may be having sex. You could be, you could be having sex with somebody, or they could be. So you know, there's communicate. But, but, but then again, it could lead to love because somebody may have had sex. They may have had sex, not looking for a commitment, and it could lead to love. And it could lead to love really, really fast with the King of Cups and the Eight of Wands. It absolutely could. Things could speed up and they could have things could happen fast. It starts out as sex and it turns into love. I mean, that could be for some of you. Tawans dropping weight, letting go on the path, on the path to recovery. Mm, hermit reversed. Knight of Wands, definitely a very sexual energy, moving very, 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 very fast. Entertaining, charming. We have somebody here that is very entertaining. You know, this is an entertainer. This could be the end of loneliness. I mean, this is coming out of hiding the hermit. This is socializing, reconnecting, getting together. Um... It's time to relax. Something with the Ten of Wands reverse, let go of the baggage, let go of the burden. You know, uh, come out of hiding. Move in a new direction. Open your heart for some of you. Some of you may have been just having sex without commitment. If that's the case, it could certainly change really, 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 really fast. And that's not going to be for everybody. Some of you may be in a marriage where somebody's having sex on the side. You know, there's friends with benefits and it turns into love. That's kind of what I think this is. This is like a physical attraction. It is. It's very physical. Let's get physical. I just heard that song. Let's get physical. By Olivia Newton-John. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that is very stable, that wants commitment, that is looking for commitment. Somebody has something big to offer. This is something solid, something real. We have a hard worker here. This person may be a business owner, definitely in a leadership position. Hard, hard, hard working or was hard working at one time in their life. Has built up some sort of material success. We definitely have material success here. Somebody is giving something to somebody else. They are. They're making a solid effort to invest. They're really investing. Somebody is investing. They're putting in a lot of effort. They're, this is a deep, 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 deep bond with that devil card. They're deepening a bond. Somebody is, and it's it's passionate, it's sexual. There's also falling in love. So I don't know if somebody got, you know, they thought they were going to have sex on the side and things get out of control and they fall in love. A lot of passion, a lot of passion here. This could be a passionate new enterprise as well. You know, this could be a new job, a new project. Okay, it could be something that you will love, getting creative. This is definitely things increasing, speeding up. Don't hide your gift, don't hide your ability. If you have some sort of creative ability, share it. Trust it. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. Express what you feel. Express your feelings. Don't worry about if you have haters. You may have haters. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. 
Don't let people scare you. People may be trying to scare you. Don't let them. I see that in the Five of Swords. You are, and for some of you, you're dealing with somebody with a very, very, very high sex drive. I can, I do see it with the devil and the knight of wands. Definitely. Very charming, very cunning, very clever. Uh, it seems to be the whole package. And this person knows that they are the whole package. Has all, this is, I don't know what this is. If this is like a, somebody that, uh, I feel like this person is very sexual. They like to play the field. They love to play the field. They love to play the field. But it feels like there's feelings getting, there's feelings. There's feelings. Beginning to realize that this is a good prospect. Letting go, letting go, coming out of hiding. We may have somebody here that has chosen to be alone. If you're single, it's like chosen to be alone. I just want to be alone. I don't want to be with anybody. And boom, here it is. You need to relax. Somebody needs to relax. Listen to your gut. Communicate openly. Be open. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Somebody, if, if somebody is hiding something, check the messages. Check Messenger. It's, I feel like there's something on Messenger or something like that. You may be able to find something on Messenger or in the text messages. Somebody is definitely hiding messages. Hermit reverse next to the Eight of Wands. They're hiding messages. And they think that they're getting away with it. I feel like this starts out as like sex with benefits or friends with benefits or something like that and it turns into emotions, you know, and yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Somebody may, there could be a sudden arrival as well. Somebody could be hiding, you know, they're hiding, they're just hiding, you know, and they just show up, you know, they're, they're waiting for somebody to get home, whatever, they just show up. This could be, this could be the one that is upset, you know, this could be the other one, the other one. Somebody just shows up, you know, and there it causes a big fight. It causes discord. It causes an argument. So, yeah, we could definitely have something like that here. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Anyhow, I feel like this week you're going to see an increase in your finances or increase in your money. You have an enemy disguised as a friend. You have been ignoring your gut. And I feel like it's an emergency that you better start listening. I feel like you're with somebody that, I don't know if you're committed to this person or you're waiting for them to really commit to you. They're not going to really commit because of that never going to happen. Or we have somebody here that feels like they're never going to get caught. I don't think that's the case. Because feelings, okay, but you know, feelings get involved. Once feelings get involved, all hell breaks loose. And did we see that at the beginning? I think we did. With the tower. Good luck.